is Owen Stevens, and I'm the Public Policy Officer of the Ohio Team Affairs Commission. As you know, we have an election coming up next Tuesday on November the 6th, and I want to share with you some last-minute information about resources uh, that you can take advantage of between now and then. First of all, there's still early absentee ballot voting that's going on in all 88 counties in Ohio. To do that, you just go to your local county board of elections, unless you're in Lucas County, Franklin County, or Delaware County, in which case the early voting is taking place somewhere else. You can find out where by contacting your local boards of elections. The hours for early voting are today, Thursday, November 1st, until 7 p.m. Tomorrow, Friday, November 2nd, from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. Saturday, November 3rd, from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. Sunday, November 4th, from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. And Monday, November the 5th, from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. Uh, if you want to avoid the hassle in the long lines on election day, early voting is a great way to do that. Make sure when you vote, you do bring ID. You do need identification to vote in Ohio. So I want to run through what some of the acceptable forms of identification are. Uh, you can bring a current ballot U.S. or state of Ohio IDs. The state of Ohio or a passport in the case of the United States. You can bring a military ID. And you can bring an original or a copy of a bank statement, a government check, a paycheck, a utility bill, or any other government document that has the voter's name and address on it. However, don't bring correspondence from the Board of Elections to say confirmation or an acknowledgement of voter registration status. It has to be something other than that. You can bring any of those ID documents. The last thing I wanted to mention to you is that there's a hotline that's going to be available on Election Day that will actually be answered in Ohio. It's the phone number 1-888-BAY-E-VOTA. That's 1-888-839-8682. And you can call this hotline for a myriad of resources. We can tell you which IDs would be acceptable forms to bring. You can learn where your polling place is. You can learn your, road, your rights as a voter, the hours of your polling place. You can also call to report improper procedure going on in the polling place or harassment or intimidation. And we'll let the board of election on your behalf. Uh, the hotline is completely nonpartisan. It's completely bilingual. Uh, we're very excited to be able to offer this resource. And we're actually going to be fielding the calls in Ohio. So we'll be able to be much more flexible in responding to problems on election day or in helping voters. So please spread the word to everybody you know. Get folks out there and vote. Ohio is going to decide this election and Latino is elected to decide Ohio. So the more that we come out and vote, the more important, the bigger impact we'll have, I guess. Thanks very much and make sure you vote.